Hi everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am here with a wonderful hop today. It's the Cottage Cuts Easter Hop of 2018 and the hop is scheduled for today which is Friday March 16th and tomorrow Saturday March 17th and we're asking that everybody comment and subscribe to every video um, on the list, you can see the list in the drop down menu below, before March 23rd. And if you comment, subscribe, um, and thumbs up on all the videos, you will be eligible for the prizes on each of the channels. And on two of the channels, there will also be $25 gift certificates given away directly from Cottage Cuts. So there's a total of 14 stops on the hop and um, seven are on Friday and seven are on Saturday. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I am getting over laryngitis, so I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. And I'm gonna pray that I can get through this video <coughs> without too much coughing. Um, you should have arrived here today from the Cottage Cuts channel. It's stop four on Friday's hop and you've arrived here at my channel and my name is Jill Norwood and I have a blog that's called Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm also um, on Instagram at Greenwood Girl and uh, you're going to go from my channel to my friend Gloria's channel who is Crafty Cakes 7 but again all of the hop information is will be down below in the drop down menu so you can look at it there to see if you've missed any stops on the hop and the hop will continue tomorrow, March 17th. And again, you'll have till the 23rd to comment. Um, each of the channels is, uh, each of us that's participating in the hop is also giving away a little prize. And my prize is going to include this adorable little Miss Petunia bunny die. And this is part of the uh, March release that was done. And then I got this little, two little sets of these bow clips. And I just thought these were so cute as well as this Echo Park um, Party Time paper pad, which has a ton of really cute birthday papers in it, which I thought would be fun because I think most of us, we make a lot of birthday cards. So, um, but these can be used for lots of different things. So this is the prize that I'm offering up. And um, so just be sure to, to comment and make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well as every other channel that's part of the 14 channels on the hop. And if you do that, you will be eligible for prizes. Your name will be in the drawing from everybody's channel, okay? So let's get started. Um, as part of being a guest designer, um, Carol Herlock asked me to guest design um, and so, so did Sherry who runs these hops for Cottage Cuts. Um, and I, as part of that, I got to pick two dies for them to send me. And after looking at the March release, uh, the March 2018 release, I chose this die here. And it's Some Bunny Loves You. And it has all these adorable little bunny rabbits with cotton tails. And I'm going to show you the die because I think it's always nice to be able to see the die. So there's the Some Bunny Loves You. Do I have that right side up? It goes this way. <laughs> Some bunny loves you. And then these are all the little bunny rabbits, okay? And then these up here are the little bunny rabbits cottontails, okay? So you can use those, or you could also, if you have some tiny little white, um, uh, you know, little balls, you could use those to be the, the cottontails. But that is one of the dies that I requested. And the other die that I requested was this one here. And after looking at it for a while, I had some good ideas in my head on how I could use it. And uh, this ended up being kind of the cornerstone of the projects that I'm going to show you. And let me show you the die, too. And I'll leave those out so you can kind of see them. Okay. Um, but this is what the die looks like. So it has a beautiful bow at the top. It has some sweet flowers along with the little bunny at the bottom and then it, it does cut some grooves along the side. So I'm going to show you how I use the die as I show you my projects. First, here's what the die looks like um, when you cut it out. It does have two little pieces of paper which I removed from the sides here, but you can cut them from a different color and insert them back in and I'll show you how I did that on one of my cards. The other thing that I did was I actually cut the bow and the entire piece away and I cut it out of a contrasting color and I used 
the bow and the wrap around the egg in, in a different tone. So you'll see that. And then you can see how I replaced the bunny with some different colored paper and added little pearls to the flowers. So this is just um, an idea of how you could, you know, one way that you could use it. But this isn't a card. This is just some extra pieces I had laying around that I haven't turned into a card yet. So here are my projects. This was the very first card that I made. And one of the things that I did was I did decorate my envelopes. I added a little envelope flap. And then the other thing that I did with all the little bunnies that come with the Somebody Loves You die is I put a bunny on the front of the envelope. It's always fun to add a little detail to your envelopes. But here's the card. And you can see how I replaced the outer part of the die with pink. The inner part is a green um, uh, gingham paper, which gingham is one of my favorite patterns. And then I actually layered an extra layer of the bunny rabbit so it's popped up just slightly from uh, the die cut itself. So it's really neat because you can end up with three different colors um, when you cut it apart. And then I just added a little, a little um, vellum flower that I had gotten, you know, that was in my craft stash. And then a little tag that says Easter Wishes. And then on the inside of the card is where I used the Some Bunny Loves You. So it says Some Bunny Loves You, and then I added two of the little bunny rabbits to the inside of the card. And then I like to always put pattern paper on the back of my cards, because if there's anything we have a lot of, you guys, it's pattern paper. <laughs> so sometimes I even add it to the inside, but it, it makes the card weigh a little bit more, and you end up needing like a 71 cent stamp or something. But I think it's worth it, because it, it pr makes a very pretty presentation. So that's the first card I did. And then I did this beautiful yellow one. This was the second card that I made. And this one has a green bunny on the front. And then green paper on the flap. And this one you can see I used a dark green paper for the bow. And then a yellow stripe to make the egg look fun. And I also um, did the gingham for the bunny on this one. And I kept this one really simple. It just has a little yellow sparkly flower. And it says Easter Wishes, and then when you open it up, this one has a polka dot paper on the inside and a green bunny rabbit. So, And this is actually a bunny cut from this same piece of the die, and then I just added one of the cottontails from this die to the bunny. Okay, And so I added that Some Bunny Loves You, which I just love that saying, and then I decorated the back of that one with some heart paper. So that's the yellow card. <coughs> And then this one is some blue and pink. And this one, you'll see that I inserted the blue pieces of paper in between the pink, just to add a little bit more blue to the card. And um, I used some felt flowers uh, to decorate this one, along with some little pearls on the flowers down below. And then a really pretty pattern paper. And then again, it says, Somebody Loves You on the inside. There's a little bunny and some purple polka dot paper and then more of the blue paper on the back. So that's that one. And again, it has the coordinating paper lining the, the envelope. And then the last one, I thought I would do something that was kind of non-traditional or at least less pastel. And this one um, is using some beige and cream paper. And um, I, I ended up cutting the bunny at the bottom out of felt. So that bottom part has a lot of texture and it kind of carries the texture of the felt flowers through the card. And this one again says Easter Wishes. It has a layer of vellum and on this one, instead of doing the scalloped card like I did on these, the, the card itself is actually scalloped. On this one I left the card straight but I embossed the back panel with a floral embossing folder. Okay, and then on this one, I, I just put blessings to you. So this one I didn't use the Somebody Loves You on the inside. But those are all of my cards, you guys. And what's really neat is you could actually give this whole set of cards to somebody as a gift for Easter. Um, you know, just put them all into a little box and they would have four beautiful Easter cards to give out. So. It is now time for me to send you on to Crafty Cake 7, who is Gloria. Hi, Gloria. 
and to tell you guys to don't forget to comment on each of the videos thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be eligible for all the wonderful prizes that are part of this cottage cuts hop i want to thank sherry otten wolf who's from crafty oh geez i always forget is it craft prayer repeat i think cpr um, I want to thank Sherry for hosting and for um, her and Carol Herlock for inviting me to be part of the group today that's hopping uh, today and tomorrow. And um, to everybody that is hopping along with us and all the beautiful projects you're going to see, you're just going to have such a good time looking at all the videos. So thank you very much. I wish you all a very, very happy spring, happy Easter, um, and I just wish you all the best. And I, I will see you back here. Um, on the 30th with prize announcements. You have until March 23rd, March 23rd, to finish commenting on all the videos. So that gives you plenty of time, okay? So everybody have a wonderful time at the hop. I can't wait to go and see what everybody has created. I've seen a few sneak peeks, but I want to see it all. So anyway, have a lot of fun. Bye now.